Hi, I'm Jennifer Torres, licensed mental health therapist and owner of Commit to Wellness. And today's DBT skill is accumulate positive emotions short term. We'll be going over the long term uh, portion in the next video. So before I get started, I just want you to know that we'll be talking about pleasant events throughout the video. And this is in reference to a list of over 200 things that I will still shot at the end of this video if you need ideas of pleasant events, uh, things that make you happy, going for a run, making a puzzle, playing with your dog or cat, playing with your child, uh, going for a bike ride, I mean, taking a bubble bath, um, cooking your favorite meal. There's gonna be so many things and it's really important um, if this is gonna work for you to make your own list. And it's really um, a game changer to write these things down because when you are upset, when you're sad, a lot of times we forget that we have all these tools and all these things that can change our mood and can make us feel better. So to have them written down uh, is really helpful. So back to our skill, accumulate positive emotions. You can do that by doing these three things. So number one, build positive experiences now. How do you do this? You increase your pleasant events that lead to positive emotions. Uh, ideally, you would want to do at least one pleasant event per day. So you could make a list of 20, 30 things and pick from that list um, every day. The other thing that you may have to do to build positive experiences now is practice opposite action and avoid avoiding. A lot of times when we're sad or upset, we know what would make us feel better, but we just don't do it. You know, it's like, you know, I know if I went and I went on that bike ride, I'd probably feel better, but I'm just not in the mood. So if you practice opposite action, which we went over in the last video, um, and you go ahead and act opposite of your mood and you avoid uh, avoiding this pleasant event, then you might feel better. Um, lastly, just make sure that you're mindful of the pleasant event. So no multitasking, really be present and, and do it your pleasant event completely. So if you're going to take a bubble bath, you know, try to really in soak in the moment, don't be on your phone working, you know, that's not really fully the pleasant event. So you're not going to get the full benefit of it. Number two, be mindful of positive experiences. Focus your attention on the positive moments when they are happening. No multitasking. And also just be mindful. You know, I, I often have clients that will come in and tell me everything bad that's happened to them that day or that week. And because that's what they're focused on is the negative experiences. And I always challenge them. Can you Give me a list of one good thing that happened every day this week. And sometimes it's hard, but oftentimes when they really think about it, they can come up with a list. So be mindful of your positive experiences. Also, refocus your attention. Whenever you start wandering, whenever you start maybe obsessing about something negative or a negative emotion, refocus your attention on the positive experience or pleasant event that you've decided to do. Um, and participate fully. This is so important that you really try your hardest to be completely present in the experience that you have chosen to do. Number three, be unmindful of worries. So some worries to definitely be unmindful of while you're participating in this pleasant event is when the positive experience is going to end. Sometimes we kind of ruin good days or good moments for ourselves because we're thinking already about how it's going to be over, how it's not going to last. So really try to not focus on that, not worry on that and just be present. Um, the other thing to be unmindful of is whether you deserve this positive experience. That's definitely going to rob you of the joy that the positive experience is bringing to you. So really try not to think about that or focus on that. Lastly, do not worry about how much more might be expected of you now that you've done the positive experience, what you, what you might owe someone, what you're gonna have to do to make up for it. You know, try to really just be present and let's not focus on all these worries because again, this robs us of our joy of the pleasant experience. So your challenge is to create a list of at least 20 to 30 things that bring you joy, that make you happy, that uplift you, 
and do one of those things every day for the next week. Good luck.